this is Cheeky Geese. Uh, it's a former church built in the 1930s, St. Mary's Catholic Church. It's been renovated and had many different businesses. Today it's a bar restaurant and we have had some close encounters. There's been an incident where, if you have a look over here for this room, I was putting away pots, talking to someone that I could see here. So it was just like I could see this way. And then as I'm talking to them, I asked them to do something. And then I got no response, so I came out and it was gone. Every single staff member that we had was out in the back area. No one was in here. And yeah, that was a really interesting thing to have happen. After the first time um, I got told the story, I then tried doing a bit of research, got told the story that that's where they actually would bring the coffins into because there's actually a closed up door on the other side of the staircase. And that was the waiting room before it was put on as an open display for a funeral. Are you the older gentleman that's connecting with us right now? If you are, can you please make those lights go to the red? You can touch anything that's got a light on it. It'll, it'll light up even more for us to know that you're here. This used to be a church. What do you think about the renovations? Not lighting up. Are you unhappy with it? Very yes. Light up something. Yeah, you've lit that up, but can you do a little bit more? Maybe to the orange. Halfway. We'll meet you halfway. I'd love a black Sambuca. Do you think you could pour me one? We'll have a drink together. Or would you like me to get you a drink? Yeah, how about we put Sula to work and she can jump behind the bar. You're going to have to tip her though. Father, are you here? Okay, just to validate, can you go to the orange? If we're speaking to a priest. That used to do mass in this church, when it was a church. Can you please light, light up all the lights, all to the red? Hmm. Maybe you're an associate of the church. Put in some hard work here. Maybe you helped build it. I mean, these stainless glass windows are amazing. What was that? It's almost like a really faint shuffle of feet. Very faint, very, very light. Oh, yeah, We're right up to the rear. Yeah. Well, can you walk into here? Take a seat next to me. Sit right here. You're very welcome to. Are you a female? Alright, can you do that?
But can you make some glasses cling together? We know that somebody's here, so just come forward, have a chat. Alright, we need some validation that you're here. So this isn't good enough, this isn't working. So we know you're stronger than that. So either you've got to light up one of these devices, these things that we've put up here, okay, all right. Even higher, go higher, go to the red light. Okay, validate that there are spirits here. Light it all the way to the red. This is your opportunity to communicate. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Thank you. So we're opening this line of communication with you. It's going to go two ways. Did you used to whistle? Did you like to sing? Did something negative enter this building? If it's a yes, light it up to the red. I'll ask again, is there something negative here? No. Is there something peaceful and spiritual here? Yep. So now we have these rods. So is holding one. I'm holding one. You can bring it straight to us. This way for yes. <laughs> right? And this way towards the bar for no. Okay. Do we have an understanding of that? You need to move both these rods this way for, for yes. And saw this rod as well. Now bring it straight, straight again, straight between us. My thoughts face each other. So that we have a basic of understanding of who we are speaking with. Can you go this way if you are male? And this way, if you're a female. I'm going to turn this off. And we're going to use the rods. Sarah asked if you were male or female. Female, this way. Male, that way. Can you move the rods please in the right direction? Oh, no, sorry, that was me shaking. Might, might look a bit funny. Well, there it goes. These, these rods different. So I actually feel like quite a bit happens in the apartment. Mm -hmm. the so 
Stand around at the back. Nice. Really yeah. Was your funeral at this church? When it Damn. was a church? I felt like saying the same thing. If it was, can you make both rods go towards the bar? This way. If it's a yes, if you, your funeral was here at this church, when it was a church, can you go that way with the rods please? All right, is anybody here that was part of the bike again? If there is, move the rods towards the bar. Swing it all the way. All right, we're going to move to that area back there. Hopefully you'll come and, uh, come and talk to us there, okay?
My name's Sula. What's your name? Okay, how about something else? How many fingers am I holding up? pretty cold. Is there someone sitting behind me? Is this the area that you hide in? Is this where you stay most of the time? Or have you had enough now? Would you like us to go? Time up these stairs. Who, who hides up here? Some bad stuff happened here. Alright, so we can Alright, so we can validate. Are there children here? just fucked up too. Look, it's frozen. You're trying to tell us to get out of here. You don't want to do this anymore. We're not leaving just yet. Look at that. Wow. What the hell? The phone just switched screens to something else. Wow. I don't... I've literally never experienced this type of meltdown with technology like this is crazy what are your secrets is that what you're scared of <coughs> scared what you're close to the truth <coughs> dumb fuck Mr. Bennett, are you here? Alright, why are you still here? Why are you in this building? Will you leave? No, we won't leave. Why is that? Because you've got answers to questions that we have for you. speak to us. Is there anybody else you want to speak to that's here? Say 
their name. What if we bring Jesus Christ and his angels down to remove you? witness something and they ended your life. Yeah. 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 What's your name? Yeah. Your sins are forgiven, you can cross over. You don't have to be stuck here. to the back room and have a chat to the spirits that are in there, okay? Right, so this room here, we call this the 300 rooms. When we finish packing this up, we'll turn the lights off. From the bar area that you can see through this window area here, once everything was shut down, quite often um, staff would say how they would see an image of like a grey like older man in here, but there was nobody in this room. And that would happen like once a week or so. And it was, so there has to be something going on here. It's, it's 1930s, it's a former church. It's, there's something happening. Well, we've moved to this area. We heard you shuffling, uh, walking, whatever you were doing, we heard it. So can you come and sit with us at this table? Also, we know that you're here. Can you touch that red light? If you do that, it'll light up. Are you being cautious? Because you don't know us? We speak with lots of spirits, Laura and I. Are you the elderly man that has been seen here before? I think you're playing games. I think you're too scared to come through and tell us who you are. I don't think you are who you portray yourself to be. Are you possessive of this place? Is it yours? Standing behind your sword. Okay. Oh, you didn't like that. I'm very crazy. You didn't like being told that you were possessive. You know there are new owners here now. You are scaring the people that own this business. You are making employees sick. Do you want them out? Is that why you're doing that? Give me something, can you do that? Up at the roof. Oh, so you're looking down on us. All right, with the roof. 
rods, can you point in what direction where you are right now? Sarah's holding the rods. Can you point both of them to where you are right now? You're not allowed to make people sick. You're not allowed to kick people out of, the, out of their business, out of their home. Oh, it smells in this pile. It smells like a church in this pile. Now you've got two options. There's the red light and the green light. the shadow? The shadow was on the wall left. It's a big one to your left. I just heard something out there. I didn't even realize it was a window here. Yeah. Is this the worst area of the building? Cross for yes, open for no. camera shy. Can you light up the red light or the green light? If you can understand what we're saying to you, cross the rods. There's a noise behind you. Do you hear that? What's that? I've got a feeling you don't like people asking you questions or telling you what to do. Was there any monks? that ever came to the church when it was St. Mary's? My arms are frozen. Yeah, I felt like, almost like I felt like someone was grabbing my arm, like holding on, like restricting. Did you just make that noise? If you did, cross the rods. Whoa, you did. Well, you like our red light. Come do that again. Have we gotten your attention now? Well, welcome to our circle. Are you any of the spirits that we were talking to before? Have you got something to say? Would you like to say something? Okay, how about, oh the rods are crossing, so you yes. do want to say something, can you uncross the rods please, are you the priest, I 
Okay. Is there someone else with you? Alright, can we try one beep for, for no and two beeps for yes? Are there more spirits in, their, in this room other than you? Let's try it again in a different way. No, they won't open or close. They just stay there closed. There's just one behind the couch. Okay. It's gone now, but it was there. Alright. He's back. <laughs> Would you like us to turn on our device that lets you speak? Have a voice. Looks like he's actually sitting on the ground behind you, so. Okay. You're not following me home. And you're not staying here either. St. Mary's is gone. No bike is allowed anymore. This is now a restaurant. And you need to leave the people here alone. Well, now you've gone real quiet again. Showing us that you're here and then disappeared again. Oh, no, that's two beats for no. I'm freezing. No, one beat for no, two beats, so yeah. It's directly behind you, Saw. So. Okay, I'm freezing. Welcome back. All right, stop. Are you pissed off? Oh, wow. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. All right, stop. Stop. What? It's really fucking with. The REM pod just died. The REM pod just died. It's drained the battery. Yeah. yeah. That's only a new battery. Don't know. It took, it took the energy. I'm frozen. Do you feel it's, the back of my hair? It's dead, dead. Like, I can't turn it on or off. Nothing. It's just dead. Mm -hmm. What? We're in the club room right now. Where Sul is sitting is where, um, according to the owner's story, um, is where they used to line up and then from the other side of the wall they um, have knife throwing competitions around somebody standing uh, on the wall. Where the holes, yeah. where the knives have gone into the wall. Yeah. Get the fuck out of town. And there's a massive patch here in this wall where someone was thrown down the stairs to this wall. Yeah. So when we first came into this establishment, um, we had a five-year-old child many years ago. This here uh, was the door that he didn't like being near. He said that that's where Naughty Nigel is and he wanted to stay away from that. Um, it really, he wasn't really happy about it. Um, and I'm just trying to remember where he actually got the name Naughty Nigel from. I think it just came to him. And that's how we describe this. And I believe this was actually the door that was the front door when this was the original church. So a lot of the parts of this building got relocated. And this bit up here is new. What is it? It's all blistering off and like running down. So 